Andrew Feldman. I'm the CEO of C Micro, Silicon Valley based startup. So tell us what the C Micro does. Give us the, the bird's eye view here. Sure. C Micro builds very low power servers. We have developed a new architecture. It's based on 512 Intel Atom processors tied together with a supercomputer style fabric. The result is a server that draws a quarter of the power and takes a quarter of the space of the best in class server in the market today. So there was a lot of attention uh, early on when people first started hearing about what you were doing about the, the use of the, the Atom servers, mm -hmm. but it seems the, the network piece of this is, is pretty important as well. It is. We chose to innovate on three dimensions. Um, the first, we chose to develop technology that allowed us to build a small basic building block comprised of an Atom and memory and an ASIC of our design. And that allowed us to shrink the, the basic footprint, the amount of power and space a basic unit took. Our second block of technology and allowed us to tie 512 of these small building blocks together in a single system. And the third building block allowed us to develop technology that could spray traffic, balance load across this system for optimal performance. The result is a server, easy to manage, standards-based, built on x86 architecture that plug and play, easy to adopt, and draws a quarter of the power and takes a quarter of the space of the best-in-class servers on the market. So let's talk about the energy profile. A lot of folks you know, here are 512 cores. They might, you know, wonder uh, how that's going to work given the, the, the power and, and cooling issues that, that some folks have. Sure. Tell me about how you've approached the, the product in terms of its energy use and, and how you're accomplishing some of the, the gains that you're finding there. That's a great question. Well, there are two parts of energy in a server. Uh, a third of the power, generally in a server, is taken up by the CPU, and two-thirds of the power are everything else. We attack both of these sources of power. First, with the CPU, we chose Atom. Now, Atom is a CPU that Intel has developed that was really intended for netbooks, for the smallest laptops and, and, and mobile devices. As a result, it was extraordinarily efficient in power. In fact, it's three and a half times more efficient than any server part on the market today for internet-style workloads. So we began by choosing the most efficient CPU. The second thing, we had to work on the other two-thirds of the power drawn by a server. So we went about systematically inventing technology that rid the system of components. Our technology, something we call CPU I.O. virtualization technology, eliminates 90% of the components in the system. Fewer components, drawing less power, allows us to shrink the system, get more compute in a smaller power envelope and in a smaller footprint. So uh, one of the things that happened is uh, uh, you, got some, uh, you got a grant from the Department of Energy. Uh, how did that uh, help you guys in terms of what you were doing? Uh, it was... Uh, it was a wonderful thing. You know, we, we don't have lobbyists. We're, we're a company of, of 57 people at, at this stage. and um, th There were no uh, fancy Washington dinners or, or junkets. It was uh, myself and two other guys sitting around and writing a grant. Um, we, uh, we were awarded $9.3 million from the Department of Energy in their in Information and Communication Technology program. Uh, this was the most award to any server vendor, so we received more than IBM or HP or Dell, some of the companies with tens of thousands of people. It allowed us to accelerate time to market. Um, with that $9.3 million, we hired additional engineers, we accelerated programs, and as a result, we got to market on the order of 12 months early. So now that you're, you're here, you have, have your product, uh, what kind of companies are, are uh, do you see this as ideal for and, and who are you having conversations with? Them? Sure. The way to think about our product is we are designed for internet workloads. And what that means are the largest internet brands. So the, the companies whose websites you visit every day, whether it's for search or for content or for social networking, those are our target clients. Those are the ones that are here today at the conference as well. And. Um, the, the form factor is a little bit different. Is that an, an issue for anybody, or, or, or you know, what's the education process like? Sure. And are, are, uh, it seems like there's a lot of interest. That, that's a great question. One of the, the things that we set out as a design goal from the outset was to be plug and play. What that meant was to be x86, 
and to be able to fit into an existing management infrastructure for a data center owner without any changes whatsoever. And that was something we achieved. So Atom is an x86 part. What this means is, is that you need no special software. All your existing software, your operating systems, your applications, and your management infrastructure run unchanged on our system. So while it looks a little bit different, all right, you plug it into your infrastructure, and everything works just as if it was a more traditional piece of equipment. So you talked about the, the appeal of this kind of uh, horsepower for, for cloud services. Uh, down the line, is, is this going to sort of remain your focus, or is there applicability to, to like the enterprise market sure. and, and other applications? That's a great question. The architecture expands across any CPU. So we can use different CPUs from Intel in the x86 family. We can use other CPUs of different architectures altogether to attack different parts of the market. What we saw to begin, and especially as a startup, was an opportunity in the internet and in the cloud because it was the fastest growing part of the network, part of the, the infrastructure. All right. As we get, gain a footprint there, we will broaden our approach and attack other parts of the market like the enterprise. Okay. Um, in, in terms of uh, uh, the different form factors, is, is there, are there going to be like a different kind of offerings? What, what's, your, what's your roadmap look like there? Sure. The different form factors really includes using the same architecture with different CPUs. All right. One of the things we don't do is we didn't develop our own CPU. Right? We leave that to Intel and AMD and, and the other companies who invest billions of dollars a year right. on, in pursuit of, of, of excellence there. What we do is we develop technology that allows you to tie together these efficient CPUs in new and interesting ways and to run existing software in these new devices. That's, that's our approach. Well, listen, Andrew, thanks so much for, for taking a few minutes to, to tell our readers about uh, C-Micro. Well, thank you so much. Pleasure.